One question that has been repeatedly asked after watching Primal is why is Fang, the T-Rex, so small? We're going to attempt to answer that in this video with a few of our theories, and it may not even be what you expect. figure out how big Fang is, or even what kind of dinosaur she is, we first have to take a look at her companion, Spear. Spear is said to be a caveman. Cavemen are said to be prehistoric humans, most people think of them as being Neanderthals. But a more accepted definition is a prehistoric man who is very primitive. That being said, Homo sapiens, as you know, were not the only humans. There were many different type of humans back then. So which one is Spear? Some say that Spear is just a very, very large man, and that's why the Tyrannosaurus seems very small. Some say it's because Fang is in fact very, very young. T-Rexes get much larger with age, and even though she had her own babies, it doesn't mean that she's a fully grown adult. Keep in mind that a Tyrannosaurus Rex it can grow anywhere from up to 12 to 20 feet tall. Since this graph is showing things in meters, consider that the T-Rex is almost at 4 meters. 4 meters equals to 13 feet, so the T-Rex in this diagram is actually about 12 feet. Human or Homo sapien in the diagram is 5 foot 9, or 1.8 meters. We can even round it off to a 6 foot tall man. Even within that range, the T-Rex is still a lot taller. When we see Fang next to Spear, she does look a lot smaller in comparison. In a lot of the shots with Spear, even though they're not totally consistent, she even looks like a juvenile T-Rex. Her head is not that large in comparison to a fully grown T-Rex, and she doesn't stand that much taller than Spear does. As a matter of fact, her height in comparison to Spear makes her more like a steed. I've looked at a lot of the shots, and when looking at Fang beside Spear and them alongside each other, you can see that her hip is a lot lower to the ground, and I'm not talking about when she's just bending and bowing, I'm talking about when she's also standing up straight. Take a look at her hip height, and take a look at a regular Tyrannosaurus's hip height in comparison to a human. Now, of course, because the shots don't seem really consistent, it may be that it just happens to look like she's a lot smaller in some of the shots than it does in others. But what if Spear is in fact very low? Large. One thing you'll notice with Primal is that things are not really true to form. It is fantasy, the dinosaurs don't have feathers, humans live alongside dinosaurs. If we were going to choose a prehistoric human that is most like Spear, we would choose Homo heidelbergensis. The reason why we think Spear is actually this type of human is because the males were about 5 foot 9 inches tall and weighed around 136 pounds. They had a large brain case with a flatter face than today's humans. But this is where it gets interesting because they were the first human species to adapt to colder climates and to build their own shelters to live in. They were also widely known for the ability to hunt large animals, which had not been seen in human species before them. Doesn't that sound like Spear? These guys also emerged from Africa, and because they were known as the first early human species to live in colder climates, they had short, wide bodies that were an adaptation to conserving heat. They lived in the era where they had control of fire, and the use of wooden spears. Now, even though dinosaurs lived on all the continents because all the continents were merged together as Pangaea before, as the continents broke up, like for example, Africa breaking apart from the Americas, the dinosaurs' fossils would still be found in their respective places, which means that's most likely where they settled down or where they made their home. Now, here are different types of Tyrannosaurus rexes. That's what a regular T-Rex looks like, and this is a five-foot human over here. At first, we thought that Fang may be a Despletosaurus, because she's certainly not as large as this T-Rex in comparison to a human. Adding on the extra inches so that we could get Spear's height, it would make sense that the Despletosaurus is about Fang's height, most consistently, as we've seen in the show. But we have another theory, and when we were looking this up, it's something that we've not even heard of before. But we think it would make the most sense based on how Fang looks. And it would explain why she has a relationship with a caveman. This theory is that Fang is actually an African T-Rex otherwise known as a Chinanosaurus. This new rare species is said to have been one of the last dinosaurs living in Africa before their extinction 66 million years ago. It was discovered in a phosphate mine in northern Morocco, and its full name is Chinanosaurus barbaricus. 
The Chinanisaurus is said to be the smaller African contemporary of the North American T-Rex, or the one that we know from the Jurassic Park movies and in most pop culture. These theropods were actually part of the category of abelosaurs, two-legged predators like T-Rex and other tyrannosaurs, but that had shorter, blunter snouts and tinier arms. Now, barring Fang's arms, does this look like Fang? Notice the box-shaped head, and notice how significantly smaller it is than a regular Tyrannosaurus rex. The guy who conducted the discovery, Dr. Nick Longridge, argued that the dinosaur belongs to the Maastrichtian age, the era that follows the disappearance of all the dinosaurs. Now, of course, we all know that primal is not totally accurate. That's actually one of the wonderful, fantastical elements about it. But if we were to put this in theory, it would make sense why our beloved fan was along with Spear for his journey during that time. Of course, there were other dinosaurs as well, but notice that the lands were not teeming with dinosaurs exactly. So that's our answer to the question as to why Fang was so small. Also consider that we look at the adventure between Fang and Spear to be one that happens from a day-to-day -day basis, but this is not the case. A lot of time actually passes by and we don't perceive it that way because we're just seeing scene to scene episode to episode. For all we know, Fang and Spear could have been with each other for about a decade now, which would explain their bond. It would also explain why they're in a snowy terrain and then all of a sudden they're in a rainforest terrain. Whether there are seasons and they stay in the same place, which I don't believe they are, because every time we see them they're always traveling, or they are in fact traversing the land and going to a different biome, that kind of thing, those occurrences takes a ridiculous amount of time. Time which we would then see Fang growing as a result of it passing, but for the most part she remains the same size, which can only mean that she's a full-grown adult. Of course, yes, it is possible that Spear is just surprisingly large, but I don't believe that Spear is anywhere over six feet if he even is six feet, and a great way to gauge that is looking at other animals that are more normal, like the warthog they were hunting and the woolly mammoth. Those animals stay true to size, and it looks as though Spear isn't ridiculously large in comparison to them. When we've seen the woolly mammoth fight and Spear alongside Fang, it is very obvious that Fang is too small to be a regular Tyrannosaurus Rex. So that's why Fang is not bigger, because she's not really a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Our best bet is that she's the African smaller counterpart to the T-Rex, the Chinanosaurus Barbaricus. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments and thanks so much for watching. This has been Ultiori. You ask, we answer.